Now let's experiment techniques topical revision. So do get them out. The first thing that we're going to do. Let's have a good feel first. Uh, according to seab.gov.sg, your Singapore Examination Assessment Board, the Ministry of Education follows, that your school follows, they say these are the key experiments and the techniques that you need to know. So my question always is, do you know them well? Do you have a good feel when I tell you the name? Do you already know? Oh, aga, aga, that's how we do an experiment. Don't know what? Ah, means please do something about it. Alright, so first one, volumetric analysis, i.e. mole calculation. Now run away. Acid-based titration. Alright, then you have the back titration, very common. All right, whereby I do lots of more calculations in between. You obviously have your redox titration. Uh, and I believe, all right, these are the two most common types of redox titration. The KMNO4, why? Reagent is non-toxic. Number two, the color change is very distinct. So they'll let you do this as a student because you're not very skilled. People at tertiary, they do more, all right, because they're supposed to be more skilled. Yours, the color change is very obvious. They do the less obvious one. All right, then you have this, which is always the beautiful one, iodometric titration, all right, is whereby iodine is involved. Can someone tell me what other chemicals is involved here when I do iodometric titration? Starch, all right? So, so immediately here is, if you can put it on this, you've seen this before, you're quite, you're, you're, you feel it already. And I need to feel it. Starch acts as a what? Indicator. Now, redox titration by right, don't need indicator, but we do use indicator in some experiment. This is a classic for y'all. For poly, the same thing. This is the what? Starch indicator. For IB, I believe it's the same. A starch indicator. And this iodine reaction, very common in your school, the reactant is, all right, react with who? React with what? Over here, they always use who? Thiosulfate. You've seen this before. In theory paper, the thiosulfate as one of the reactants, as one of the reagents. Okay? So later we take a look uh, using example and whatnot. All right? So first, I want to have a good view. All right? So KMNO4, okay, it serves as an indicator, all right? Because it changes color. Now, I won't say it's an indicator, but it, it, the color change tells me when to uh, know when it's the end point. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, we know we, there is gas collection. Uh, this is SM, uh, this is uh, mentioned by SCAB. You, uh, you need the, the ability to collect gas over water or a solution using an uh, inverted burette or a measuring cylinder. If people use a burette rather than a measuring cylinder, can you already guess what they are trying to do? What do they want? That's my question. What is the difference if I use a burette versus a measuring cylinder? What is the difference? Tell me, in common sense. As much as you can. What's the difference between the burette and the measuring cylinder? Right. Me me the burette more precise. Very good. All right. You have the numbers there. It's graduated. You have values. So from there, you can therefore what? They'll ask you to do more calculation. Can I? Or you can use a gas range once again. Okay. Later, we'll talk about this more. Gravimetric analysis, I mentioned also. There are two types of gravimetric analysis. You have a third type. Speak it up. All right. Uh, from my understanding, H2 cam, these are the style of predicate I keep seeing. All right. Which are this which is volatilization gravimetry. This one is whereby dry off water crystallization. So it will always involve a what? The substance that's involved that you heat is what? Over here. If you dry off water crystallization, the substance is always your what sort? Your hydrated sort. So all these basic fundamental we must know because only hydrated sort have water crystallization. And the hydrated salt, once you drive off the water crystallization, the H2O, it becomes a what salt? All these terms, don't tell me you forgot section until now. All right, everyone. So you minus the H2O, right? The number of H2O. It becomes anhydrous salt. These are the theory. Don't later they ask you things about this, then you cannot float and you don't know what they're asking. That's not funny. <laughs> I want to say that's funny. But it's not funny. Right? It's not funny because it's the basis of the experiment. All right, next we go to precipitation gravimetry. So over here, precipitation, obviously we get a precipitate. So you measure the mass of the precipitate form. All right, so this is your only precipitation in action. Chemical energetics, we have two types also. Chemical uh, energetics, these are the two of them. One is the more generic one, is your calorimetry. So basically you have a styrofoam cup, all right, a polystyrene cup. You have some solution or acid or whatnot, a solution, and then you put a thermometer and then you measure, measure the temperature. All right, and over here, which formula will always be used? Go. Theory, it's all theory. That's why this, all right, a lot of things are in the theory paper last time, like planning. Even practically, look at it, the question, you look at it. After you collect the data already, everything is theory. It is theory. It's not your practical that sucks. It was the theory. So you sort that out. So we, sorry. Ah, delta H neutralization depends. It may not always be neutralization, right? So delta H of a reaction, then you have something like, Q over N, whether it's plus or minus, again, we need to look at the thermometer. Correct? So with this, obviously, before that, you need to have what? You need to have a Q equal to MC delta T. So you cannot run away from it. Make sense? So you'll be looking for it, man. 
at the start, you ask you to calculate anyway. All right, so get used to it. Calorimetry, all right, endo exo. When you add something inside, right? When you add a solid or liquid or whatever inside, yeah, something happened. Energy transfer. Those that are online so far, so good. Uh, following through. Hannah, very good. Right, start small and then we do big. Right, uh, so Shen, if you are with us, camera up, yeah. Yes. Mm. The, the science, you, the, the MC delta T don't a negative one, it's always positive. Oh, because Q is always a positive value. But that negative Q over N, uh, delta H is Q over N, whether it's positive or negative, depending on whether the reaction is endo or exo. So it's theory. So you have to look at what you look at the, the, the thermometer. So this is the one, right? So this one, right? Is it positive or negative? Since you asked me, you have to look at whether, okay, put it that way. Since he asked this question, everyone, he asked you answer. Positive or negative, yeah? Here we go. Positive. If delta H is positive, straight to the point theory, yeah? All right. Your practical, your school going to give you a lot of practical hands on. Um, I sort out the I sort out the theory for you. Okay. I'm not doing this, but I want to ask. It's all about thermometer, as I mentioned. May I know the temperature change is positive or negative? If Q is positive, be firm, huh? Think slowly. Because you don't go in there and give the wrong value in Garang Abo. I give everyone a minute, all right? Online, you should type in either positive or negative. Write English or write sign, I'll take. Choose one. On site, later, you give me also. Everyone, you got 60 seconds to think. No talking. It's your time. I'm asking this question. It can be positive or negative. Hmm. No, no, he's not asking about this. He's asking about this. How you know it's positive or negative here? Is it endo or exo? Okay, never mind. All right. Okay, never mind. Since he said that like that. Okay, so simple. So it's positive or negative, then we go opposite. All right. Since it's scared, he like, like, is this endo or exo? Okay, I asked one, everyone one question only. Okay, so for delta H equal to positive, means this endo or exo? Okay, easy. So now we got 20 seconds because now easy. I don't think so much. So, I'll think now. Left with three seconds. Thumbs up, endo or exo, all right? On site student, what do you think? Endo or exo? Let's have a race of hand, right? On site student, uh, how many of you think is uh, endo? Yeah, 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 endo, anyone? Come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I see eleven. Don't know, all right? So we have 11 over here. I think this class, everyone knows endo. All right, exo is zero at the moment. All right, online only eight students reply. The rest either don't know when for dinner or whatnot. All right, so endo, 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 negative, endo, endo, endo. Of course, all right, positive is endo. Everyone is endo, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, positive is endothermic. I still want to go back to my delta T because it is theory. We're going to have a long night here today, which is good. All right, okay, first of all, this is endo kind of process of reaction. And therefore, I want to know when you do the experiment, the temperature will increase or decrease, right? So this is T initial, all right? 20, let's say 25 degrees Celsius. Let's assume. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, may I know delta T later be a positive value or negative value? I need to be damn smooth with this, as I mentioned. It's the theory. So you say, I put the body thing inside there. We say, okay, it's an endo reaction, right? When you react with whatever inside, it's endo. Okay, good. So the temperature, how? Delta T, positive, negative. Valid reason, right? Valid question, huh? Very valid, huh? Yeah, that's it, huh? Makes sense? Come on, hey, got a sign, right? Because 5, got a sign, right? You see, huh? Makes sense, right? If 25 minus 30, you'll be minus 5, my value. If it's 25 minus 20, hey, it is plus 5. Got difference there. Eh? Where got no difference? Got different. Change can be positive or negative, what? Come on, where got no difference? There is a difference. It's important, it's huge, Ethan. That's what I'm saying. All right, so it's firm, now we say it's endo, come. So which one? This one or this one? Top or bottom? Which one you prefer? <laughs> Ayo, you're energetic, huh? Okay, you need to revise your concept, right? Not difficult, but... How about what do you think? Plus one or minus five? If I put this thing inside there, it's, and it's endo. Ooh, direction's endo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, go back to the basic, all right? I'm going to show you a diagram, huh? ladies and gentlemen. When this thing drop inside there, they will start to react, yes? So let me get bigger. For the science. Yeah, because your energetic not strong, because your content was not strong. That's the problem. Not just you, a lot of people. They don't understand why it's endo-exo. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I put the thing inside there. Huh? Let's have a good look, okay? Here we go. We put inside there, right? Then we say, okay, it react with whatever inside there. So remember, this topic is not the 2E, it's the 2S first. System and surrounding. Some of you, a lot of you, I told you in Sec 3, Sec 4. That's what I told you in energetics. In Sec 4, actually, to be more precise. This is the reaction. This is called the system. All right, when we say it's endo, means what? Means the energy transfer where to where? From surrounding to inside, right? To the system. Make sense? So initial temperature, if it's 25, can you tell me, do you think the final or the, 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 the either the maximum minimum temperature, is it 30 sounds better or 20 sounds better? 20, make sense? Because you drop mark, heat energy transfer. All right, heat energy, heat transfer. This is T, therefore, uh, minimum or finer. You want to call finer, finer, all right? 20 degrees Celsius. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe my delta T will be this and not this. All right. Therefore, I'm expecting the delta T to be positive value. That's what I'm asking you all before we do anything. Ever okay? And this will help you with your theory also. And you they are connected. Lah. Those that online make sense to you? Yes. Basic yeah. energetics. Yeah. That T final minus T initial or T? Yes. T final minus T initial. So the final can be minimum or maximum. So maybe I change this lah, to final, okay? Uh, usually we don't write final, you know why? Because there's no such thing final later, they will uh, all normalize to become uh, what's the word? Room temperature due to thermal equilibrium. Wait, then it's like, should be the other way by 20 minus 25 instead. 20, 25. 20 eh? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, 20 minus 25. My max field, I think. Oh, my max field. Okay. Anyway, yeah, right. Okay, I'll just change this. Okay. Uh, all right, IE, uh, what is the value here? So change in T equal to T. By right, should not write final, but yeah. So it's 20 minus 25, which is... Sorry, that made a mistake already. Sorry? <laughs> so it's negative. Check, huh? I told you, don't trust anyone, not including me. You trust 90, 10 keep for yourself. Verify, check. Make sense? Uh, Sounds better now? Yeah, because I keep the so You see, uh, when you ask me at the start, is it delta T positive negative? I also keep quiet for very long, you realize? My head is drawing this diagram. Without the diagram, I also don't value for you. Either I scribble down or use my head to scribble. That's all. You need to have this diagram. Those I've told you energetics, all right, in J1, that's what I told you, right? I recap with you again. Those in my sec 4 class, I tell you we're going to use this all the way to university. The day you don't do chemistry, right? You want to do chemistry, you need to do physical chem. You need to do physical chem, you need to do thermodynamic. Thermodynamic, you need to do delta H. You cannot run away. And therefore, you need to do delta T. Okay, good start. We won't stay here too long. Right? A quick scribble if you want. If not, this recorded now, right? Okay, huh? and then they review this uh, tonight by 10. I think by tomorrow you should be able to re review. Check my, I mean, my IT guys, they are working overtime for the last three, four weeks. They, uh, they're being stressed up by me. <clears throat> okay, now, so this calorimetry, all right, the next one we have is known as your uh, thermometric titration. Oh, thermometric titration means titration. Uh, so usually this is what kind of reactant it will usually, I've seen until now, acid and alkali. So, such that you don't use indicator at all, you use what? You use thermometer. All right, and you don't use indicator. Using the thermometer, and then you get the points, you'll be able to know, all right, uh, uh, what's the word to use? You'll be able to find uh, what is the number of most of the two reactants you just now. It's i.e. the endpoint. So, basically, this is to find the what? The aim uh, is to find endpoint. Just like the indicator. And everyone should know this. You shouldn't even recall. Okay, so you don't know, ah, I don't mind. Now you've got two weeks. You've got a lot of things to read, okay? From your school. <coughs> so go read. After this, three days, okay? Here we go. Okay, all right, thermometric. Okay, let's finish up. We haven't even entered like, this intro. Like. Reaction kinetics, what are the type of questions that will come out? All right, whatever the experiment you use, it will usually be these two, right? The initial rate method or the continuous method, which, again, I like talk not much if your kinetic not strong. Later, we go to the details. Qualitative organic uh, analysis, distinguishing test. Distinguishing test is, is to dis dis distinguish what? The functional groups. Uh, yeah, so my question again to you, uh, do you is uh, how's your organic? Theory paper first. It has to do with theory. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to QA, right, I got nothing for you in this workshop. Nothing much. If you have time, I can pull some things up. It's just a theory question. I can mock it out. You look at it, it's just a theory paper. Make sense? I'll tell you this is my observation, which is you're supposed to observe. You're supposed to get an observation marks after that deduces the functional group. It's all theory. It's theory. It's not practical. All right, when it comes to the QA. All 
right? So if not, it's still functional groups. Uh, organic over here, you might, you might be test on separation and purification. Uh, what kind of separation purification have you done before for organic compounds? Anyone? Can think of hands-on wise, let's say. Planning, it can come out anything. It's just a theory question. I ask you how to make, synthesize something, then you write. Then you write to the ability. Anything you did regards to organic chem that you do separation or purification? Anyone online? Help. You all came from almost all schools, I think. Except MI. I think I have every school here in this workshop. Besides Malaysian Institute, I think everyone is here. No? Nothing? Anything? Organic chem. So organic compound is the best thing we use. Oh. You use you use separating funnel before? Not at all. Not at all. Use separating funnel? Some use before? Or shake, shake, shake before? Let it settle? Separating funnel. Use before? Recap a bit. F? Stella use before? AC? Use before? Huh? Separating funnel. You know what separating funnel? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it looks like, uh, like that one. The heart shape like that one. I don't do very ugly. Then it got tap here. Alright? No, la, this is not good. This is a separating funnel. Then you got one layer and then layer. Then you separate them. Oh, confirm not. Confirm not. Oh, Chong used before, yes? Alright, this thing they actually don't need to teach you how to use one because by theory it's just put it in and shake, 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 leave for a while then they ask you to do another experiment, come back uh, uh, uh. But when you do operate? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very easy to operate. Maybe they assume you know how to turn and split them, okay? Anyway, mentally get ready, huh? If you see one, don't get a shock. Okay, anyway, QA, inorganic, nothing much to say, alright? Um, it's test for cat ion, the N ion and the gases as detailed in the QA notes. Uh, reaction involving ions not included. That you might be tested on ions that is not inside uh, the nodes. All right. Uh, in such cases, you will need to identify the ions. You will never be. But your job is to draw general conclusion of uh, of it. All right. General conclusion of it. Like, is it does it have an acidity group? Does it have a basic group and whatnot? Everyone okay. All right. Can <laughs> or uh, this inorganic uh, uh, or rather, uh, what else will they ask you and draw a conclusion of it? Um, Maybe is it amphoteric, things like that. All right? Think of your QA, uh, you add sodium hydroxide, whatever they form, metal hydroxide. Correct? Some metal hydroxides are amphoteric, make sense? So they're hydroxide. By right, add sodium hydroxide further, they should not react. Make sense? But they react to give you a solution. Why? So I will tell myself, okay, it is an amphoteric hydroxide, for example. Am I okay? okay nah? uh, simple organic synthesis, uh, you all know how to operate water path? Eva, it's my daughter. Ah, level is going up. Ah, I think 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 or Chongdi before, anyone? Reflux. Okay? Distillation also before? Simple distillation setup. Have thing, huh? recall back, huh? you have all your practical exercise. Time to put them in the file. Don't messy, messy now, consolidate. Think of all the simple things you've done before, right? Pick them up since you want. 